episode, and the main thing that like we took from it was it felt like the pilot where I don't even know what's happening anymore, but it's awesome, and I'm in, and I love it. Is that kind of something you guys wanted to go for, and like just break everything open and um, crazy? Yeah, I, I think I think so. I think we wanted to really start it off with a bang, and uh, um, I mean introduce uh, Ari's uh, first character or characters, <laughs> uh, and. Um, um, and and throw a number of our characters into really really tough situations. Sarah's Sarah's in a situation that she would have never expected to have to pull off. Um, and I think Del- Delphine too is in a very interesting um, uh, and new place in this season. So I interviewed actually um, David and Ivan at Double Street like at the end of season one. Mm-hmm. You mentioned that you guys had sort of a five season plan. So how closely are guys kind of sticking to that or are there some kind of changes and new avenues that you've discovered going through a couple seasons now? Um, we're still, you know, it's a loose plan. It's a loose master plan. Um, and, uh, but I think that season three loosely, the arc of season three is loosely what we envisioned Maybe not at the beginning of season one, but maybe by the beginning of season two, we were seeing where, discovering where we, we know we knew we wanted to introduce male clones at the beginning of at the end of season two. So, um, and we knew some of the things that we wanted, some of the revelations about that uh, we already had. So, so, so in one sense, like that, it's um, it's. It's close to, to what we envision. On the other on the other hand, um, we are always flexible enough that it's um, to to sort of roll with punches and be quick on our feet. Um, for instance, you know, we didn't know that it was going to be Ari Millen's character that was the male clone. Um, that came about because we discovered a really fine actor and we decided not to kill him and then we decided that it, maybe he could he, it could be him and that the show would double back on itself and 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 the revelation would come from our own cast rather than hiring someone new which we kind of thought we would hire bring in a bring in a brand new person um, but going back to the going back to our own cast and selecting Ari from that really helps draw it together is there a character that has sprung forward be based on not something that you originally thought would happen to them, but just how they've developed that it's become more interesting than you even thought it would become? Um, yep. Uh, uh, um, Christian Brun's character, Donnie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He certainly... Um, uh, you know, the moment when he pulled the trigger on Dr. Leakey, I think that's when everybody was like, Donnie rocks! <laughs> um, and... and uh, um, and and it was partly that that moment and that discovery that that gave us Allison and Donnie's character arc as a couple for the third season, mm-hmm. um, because we'd only seen them fractured, and Donnie was a schlub, and then he was an agent, and then he was a liar, and then he you know then he uh, <laughs> he's back to being a schlub. Uh, but then they bond over this, you know, they bond to protect their family. They come together over this, over the slaying of Dr. Leakey. Um, and now we get to see them together, which is, uh, we get to see Team Hendrix in all their perverted glory. Well, right now we almost have like um, an Adam and an Eve at this point. When it comes to the clowns, you've got the males, you've got the females. Are we going to see other characters that may be clones, or are we going to be looking at clones of these two specifically? Um, I don't want to do any other clones. <laughs> not, not yet. Um, uh, no, I think we would definitely focus on these two great actors. Yeah. Um, you wrote um, most, like all the seasons. Is there a, uh, for season three? Is there a most intriguing character that you found most interesting to write and most intriguing to write for the season? Um. Uh. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, Delphine, this this year, very very conflicted, um, uh, revealing something 
much different than we've seen before, uh, challenging the audience with what their expectations are of that of that character and what they want from that character versus you know what uh, what what the character is going to be able to to give us, um, and a very uh, a, a, a performance throughout the season that walks this this tight um, tightrope of. Uh, you know, of keeping this promise that she made in this, in the second season that, that I will love all your sisters equally, and um, and having to take on having to to become a bigger, go deeper into the beast in order to keep them safe, um, making making those sacrifices and and and, uh, and and not necessarily being a good guy. To, to, to fulfill the promise, um, and also uh, and also Paul, and it's a very it's kind of a it's kind of a similar character story uh, for Paul, where he's a, he's a guy who's he's been at even more of a double agent, and um, uh, but where is his heart? Where does his heart lie? And um, we really look. It was really uh, a nice. A nice journey with Paul this year, discovering out, discovering where his heart lies. So those were two very complex and very um, uh, um, hard to write uh, uh, character lines that I think really, really play nicely and, and very, very orphan black. Last season, you guys had a little challenge with the four clone dance party. Did you guys have something similar for this season? Oh, you, you can't keep John Fawcett away from his giant finale <laughs> clone scene. <laughs> Uh, I can't. I can't give it away, but um, yes, we do do another great big clone scene in the finale, and uh, I've seen a cut of it, and it's pretty awesome. <laughs> you know, they're like three or four days before this one. <laughs> yeah. As a writer, I'm sure you get really attached to the characters. I mean, these are these are your babies. Um, is there ever a point when you're saying, "Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm making this too hard on this character," or you know, Delphine's gone through too much at this point. I can't put her through anything else. Or do you just say "fuck it, let's do it"? No, I know, I know. I agonize over how much, how much pain we put them through. Mm -hmm. You know, um, even Helena. You know, who can hack it? Who can take it? It's like, are we just being too mean to Helena? <laughs> can we just give her a lollipop? <laughs> Feel better. So jello. Um, so. Uh, yeah, we do agonize over it, but that's drama. You know, the harder you make it on those on the characters, um, the the greater the triumph if they can uh, come out of it. You know? Do you ever foresee um, a situation where Sarah will be able to stop running? I mean, now that Kira is like this, this is prize, and I mean, it's the whole crux of the show. But maybe your creation. I mean, does it maybe in the final um, uh, <laughs> minute of the series? <laughs> do you have an end in sight? I mean, do you know how this is gonna, the story's gonna end? Uh, again, loosely, we've always known where we think it ends. Yes, yeah, we've always uh, known the end of the mystery. No, um, yeah, as you just mentioned, you know, series versus season, American television versus British television. Obviously, uh, British television, it's, it's a little tighter. You have less episodes. You have what, 13 hours or so to tell the story as opposed to 22, 23. How does that affect you when you're going into the writing process? Um, to have a 10-episode season? Mm -hmm. um, well, we, uh, we're really comfortable with 10, and we don't want it to make it more because it's a, it's a mystery, and we don't want it to spin its wheels. We want to keep the pace. 10 episodes allows us to keep the pace. If we went if we went 13, I think the air would come out a little bit um, and 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 Tatiana might just collapse. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is that it? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, you guys. Thanks a lot.